being sarcastic. What do you need? Cute. Uh, Cicella needs you upstairs for a minute. So which one of you is Cistella again? I'm pulling over to Cistella. But I'm not really phased by her bullshit. You actually make an insight check. Sure. Well, didn't, uh, didn't Cistella tol- tell me that she had a sign? So I know she's obviously involved in this? Yeah, but that, that's not why I'm, that's, yeah, that's not oh. why I'm having you make the check. Okay, fair enough. Fucking bigger than Bartleby's? Yeah. Huh. You get the impression that she's maintaining this ruse, but it's not for you. What do you mean by that? She she seems comfortable with you, and she's it seems like she's just going through the motions. Of saying what she needs to, but she doesn't seem like she's trying to actively deceive you. Wait, so you're saying you don't know who Sistella is? No, that, that's not what I mean. Oh, okay. I'm you, confused now. You get that she's... You get that she's lying, but she's not... She's not putting on a very convincing shows she seems much more comfortable now that everybody is moving together and you're not you're not sure why but she doesn't seem as uneasy she's definitely uneasy but not uneasy with you Uh uh-huh so like i said could you join us upstairs just for a minute promise you'll be right back down tending to your zombies or whatever the hell you got going on down here. <laughs> Subtlety. Wait, if they are zombies, wouldn't I have... Well, because of the undead tracking. Who says you they're would... undead? Well, just if they were, then Edmund would have noticed something at least. Your zombie dar has not gone on. Okay, no dars, okay. I was more I was more saying that as a as a joke. They yeah, don't yeah, visibly yeah. look like zombies, and I'm saying they're acting like them. But if they were, just to keep that in mind. I suppose I can leave my post. She grabs a key ring. I'll show you all of your rooms. Right this way. Out of the way Yeah, this is like literally we're just crammed <laughs> up here. We're all just awkwardly standing here like NPCs. We're all waiting for Best Buy to open for the new WoW expansion. What? Does everyone go? Yep. Oh, I, I do at least. so. Yeah, we I, do. I mean, we're all... I figure everyone's probably... Is Helena just gonna, like, sleep on the chair? Point. I just don't want to be where everybody else is. It's just fucking crowded. Do you want to go in the fucking fire hazard right now? Yeah. I just don't know how to get upstairs. I don't... Hang on. Hey. Hey. Oh, God. Oh, man, Oops. it's Remember pitch me as black up here. Uh, I'm in the kitchen. I'm just gonna take something. I'm in a black hallway, I think. Oh, wait, you guys actually have. Oh. No, my kitchen! You guys actually have working walls? Oh, I see see Tetra's eyes just peeking in through his slit. She's like, hey, hey, over (laughs) here. Is everybody down, uh, rather up towards the stairs? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Up here. I tried to move you all at once, but the. Uh, roll twenty thing did not want any of that. Okay. Damn it, roll twenty thing. Oh, this reminds me of like the very first battle in our first D and D. Yeah. Yeah. Are we gonna kill the whole fucking inn again? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Oh, How many people did we kill that fucking session? I don't remember, but it was hilarious. It was, it was a good time. There are a shit ton of people in this hallway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, is a... by absolutely a fire hazard. This is a fucking birthday party right there's, now. There's enough room. Uh, the tokens are definitely wider than okay. you all would be. Uh, but yeah, you're able to navigate it. You're able to at least squeeze by each other in the hall. Like if two people were going, 
यहां से हुआ Uh, very systematically, she unlocks door after door enough for her. Was it nine? Yeah. Yep. All right. So who's uh? These two rooms are unlocked. These three up here. Uh, and then. One, two, three, four. All right. Before before anyone goes anywhere, I said you said the the room directly to my left is open, right? Yeah. All right. So I say we're all gonna stay in this room for the next couple of minutes, and I kind of imply that we need to talk about something. It's gotta be cramped. Good. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even fit. I actually can't even get in this room. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm standing on the table to take up less space. There's, like, if you all kind of squeeze. I can't actually, yeah. like, move my thing in. Yeah, like, no. I'm no, I'm in the, the doorway. Hall. Oh. <laughs> where where oh is the doorway? Stop. Stop moving so I can move you in there. Listen, I'm I'm antsy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting oh really claustrophobic God. right now. I get burning shit. hands on the room. Oh, God. oh it's so warm <laughs> and everyone s- dies. There's, there's a better place for this. This is there's a more open room down the hall. Come on. Oh god damn it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> After we're all in. God damn it. Stop moving, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the dedication to letting us sit in that room for like a quarter of a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Much better. Oh. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, this is the fancy again. room. This is the fucking that, presidential suite. You're in a bathroom. Oh, a it's a fancy right bathroom. There. Like, it's literally a bathroom. There are two big bathtubs. Uh, oh, shit. Edwin gets in the bathtub. Quick, Rufus. I don't the have water is not person. drawn. No! Lube me! <laughs> yeah, so you're let down. <laughs> Uh, the halls up and then to the right all the way uh, to this bathroom. The floors are unlike any other room. They're kind of worn because of the water. You, you can tell they didn't exactly intend for this place to be a bathroom since there's wood there. But you're all in there. The all fire right, so is going. In front of everyone, I just asked Estella. All right, so do you know what the hell is going on here? I'll start from the beginning. Okay. Oh, wait, no, the the lady is in there as well. Okay, I'll direct you to both of them as the or both of them since they apparently know each other. Sis, you gotta get out of here. We don't know. It's just me and. Got everybody, but me and your sister. The longer you're here, the higher chance you'll be captured. So you have to leave tonight. Leave us. What is happening here? Mom, talk to us. Talk to me. I don't know what it is, all right? We... Something is controlling everybody, but it, it left me and your sister because we own the place. We know it. It's using us to make sure that people like you who... who might know the way things work around here don't get suspicious. So you're... You're actually claiming that there's mind control going on? Really? I don't know what's happening here, but something is happening. People what? started. It's like something's... They're just not themselves, okay? I, I don't know how else to explain it. If that's so, why haven't you left yet? And go where? This is... 
everything I have is here. All of these people. They're my people. If I leave, everyone dies. Or worse. You say they're your people. They don't really appear to be people right now. You're talking with the... You're talking with like the, the background where you think this can be fixed or cured, which would imply you know what it is. Otherwise, you're just kind of talking out your ass and you think something is going on and you just know it can be cured somehow, so that's why you're not leaving? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know if it can be cured, but I'm... I have to... Try? Do you even know how to begin trying? No, my, my plan was to hold out until... Sissy came to pick up her clay, and that happened. She brought all of you, thankfully. She doesn't normally bring this many, I don't know. But you're here now. You can help, right? I look over to Stella and I go, This is your plan from the beginning, wasn't it? I, I didn't know any of this was happening. This... Can you tell if she's lying? Uh, you can make an insight check. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, Mash. Thank yeah. you, you too. Wait, since we're all like, hopefully paying attention, can I make an insight check on this too? Yeah, all of you, whoever wants to make an insight check can make an insight check. All right. <laughs> I'm just looking at this sick ass tongue. This shit's sick. Here comes another zero. Damn it. Almost. Bart we loves beer. Really sip, terrible. sip, sip. We are so bad at insight checks. Yep. <laughs> Bart. Uh, not fucking Bart. Uh, uh, I Evan mean, just probably just like casually just like slumps in uh, next to the tub and just sips on his mead while everyone does their shit. Rufus Edmund. Nah. Baby sips. Rufus Edmund, Sia, uh, and Bart. All of you aren't entirely sure about whether or not Cecilia is being truthful. But Ishay, Tetra, and Helena, the three of you feel like she's genuine. I'm just saying, I find it a little convenient that you overhired a bunch of mercenaries, which I already found weird. And now, oh, suddenly, we get here and there's a problem that you want all of us to fix and do your little quests. That just, I don't know, it just seems really, really convenient. It really is convenient. This... This isn't the problem. Well, it's a problem, but not... Look, are you going to help or not? Why would I? Because I'm paying you. You're paying me for a job that does not involve this. I'll pay you more. We can... We'll work something out. Just... I mean, Rufus, if you don't want to do it, you can walk back to Seidel. Oh, and not get paid? Yeah, that sounds great. Look, we're well, here. I mean, if you're gonna back out of the job, do it. This is not part of the job. To a pussy it is bone. now. It is now. It is now. That's Are you all so eager to so go out of now. your way to continue to help her with things that she did not even want in the beginning? You're all just so friendly for some reason. What has she done for you? Well, she's paying us for one. She's paying us for something that we should be doing, but you want to do more than that. What else is there to do? Get other jobs that don't involve people just lying and deceiving us and just do something really simple not have to be carted around and have things turn into a and to b and to c and then they're forking and then we just not well, do something simple no, to be fair you didn't ask her shit about the job before we left he told us we were just going to deliver clay and then bring it back have we brought it back no we haven't been back to the yet we haven't, we haven't gotten then what is your complaint 
the job isn't done, is it? No, it's not. And I'm gladly going to wait for her to put some clay in her friggin' carts and wheel it back. But helping cure whatever the hell is going on here is not what we signed up for. No, it's not. But if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. And then finally stops fucking with the tub and looks over his, what are we talking about? Rufus is complaining. Ah. Uh. Again. Ah. Uh. Oh, you're all so you're all so wonderful people. Yes, let's just let's just cure the townsfolk. Let's do all the little minor quests. Let's just basically do fetch quests. That's that sounds very fun. Okay. I just sit down all poutily. Well, Rufus clearly has much more important things to do with his life and we are holding him up. But let's discuss an actual plan. Nishi's got the balls in this conversation. <laughs> I turn to the, the barkeep lady. Not the barkeep, the innkeeper. You said that people were being captured and taken, right? Yeah, I, I saw people. Um, they were being uh, ferried off towards the north, towards the mines, yeah. Okay. So, presumably, whatever's happening is happening in the mines. And we need to go there anyway. Do you have any idea what's going on? Like, what might be happening? Do people just come back and they're not themselves anymore? Look, all I, all I know is that about a month ago, there were a couple of people that checked in. Um, they're still here, or here now. Uh, but after those two checked in, Everybody went into like this stupor. I don't I don't know what's causing it. Wait, they're still here in the inn. Yeah, the um the only two actual residents, actual patrons of Rather, the only guests we have here are the, the, the man and his daughter, and I think they've been taken over, too. Have they? Well, they're still here, like everyone else. How long have they been here? Uh, it's been about a month now. Oh, all right. Yeah, yep, that'll do it. They said they got in tonight. Yes, they did. Oh, shit. Look, and then I look toward, uh, I guess, Sistella's sister? Uh, is that who she is? Mother. Yeah. Oh, mother, whatever. Look, I go, w w what's your name? Carrie. Great, Carrie. So, you want us to help you fix whatever the hell is going on in this town, right? Look, son, I just, I just want my town back. I want my people back. I get that. I really do. But why do you think we are capable of doing that? Why do you think we happen to know how to cure some sort of thrall control? How do you think, where would we even start? I don't know, you You will have weapons, you. Oh, we're, we're supposed we're, to be good at this sort of thing. stab and that's gonna cure everything? Well, we're mercenaries, that's what we're good at, isn't it? Yeah, we're mercenaries. And we're under her contract. Why do you think you have an affinity for the arcane to cure mind control? How do we uh, know it's the arcane? What are you... How are we jumping to that conclusion? Why is anyone listening to fancy flamey fingers in the first place? That's homophobic. Jazz hands. Flamey and not flaming. Uh, Snake, I'm... I'm kind of pulling back a little bit out of the conversation and I'm gonna like, you know go talk with my, my good friend I see yeah, see if he knows anything I'm like halfway out this door frame ready to leave 
I'm gonna go load up some clay. Let me just uh, slips over to Bartleby. Uh, mm. He's over, just whisper in his ear. What the fuck are they talking about? Going on about not paying attention. <laughs> something about I don't know. I'm I'm thinking it's just a cult. You know, one of those new cults that pop up in town and everyone's all about it. Some kind of fad. <sighs> look, look, Carrie. What, what, all right, say yes. We we all want to help you. We're all wonderful people, and we all want to help you. What do you want us to do? One second. No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get a second. <laughs> or are you saying you shame? Uh, I'm just gonna kind of. Well, first I'm gonna kind of poke and see if he's actually around because he's been super quiet. And if I get any kind of a response, then I'm gonna ask him if he knows anything about any kind of magic that can be used to like mind control people, like a lot of people, and like just make them act not like the people they actually are. Like if he has any idea what might be going on here. So for the record, we in character have no idea what the fuck she's talking about, right? Oh, no, I'm you... not saying anything out loud. I know, no, yeah. I know, I know. I'm yeah, just yeah. saying we, I'm we, just we don't know what you're talking about. I'm just leaning about. against the room or against gotcha. the wall. Gotcha, gotcha, and I'm gotcha. not saying anything. So how do you, first, what are you saying to get his attention? Uh, could I just do kind of like a mental prodding? Like, like the equivalent of poking him? On Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> a little notification in your brain? Yes. Ah. What face? You don't hear this. I know, I'm scared though. Have you, have you been paying attention at all to what's happening? I'm always paying attention. You know this. Well, I know, but you've been so quiet. I'm not sure if you're here anymore. Like, I can, you know, you're here, but you're not, I, I don't know if you're paying attention. But, um... Yeah, uh, do you know what might be happening? Because I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And no one else knows. I may have some insight. Roll an insight check. But I don't know if you are ready. What do you mean? Of course I'm ready. Make a persuasion. Okay. Uh, That's not very persuasive. No. You are not prepared. Let me say this. There's a a notable pause where he seems to be formulating what he's going to say next. You're better off running. That was actually pretty spooky. It was good. Yeah. It was good. really good. That was really good. <laughs> are you sh are you sure? Like you really don't think I could handle it? Look at all of these people. Another silence. These things are never simple. But 
but you, with the combined help of everyone in this room, you might stand a chance. All right. How, how should we approach it? I, I don't know what it is. Find the source. In the slab. <laughs> and then return it? I knew it was fucking coming. We're sufferers, curse. Okay. Thank you. Silence. Okay, and then I'm like, I just wanted you to be back like, into the present conversation. I want to see so much back. All right, later. <laughs> yeah, but okay, bye. Uh, really quick, how how much time was spent where she was just sitting there talking to herself in her head? Probably a couple minutes. Yeah, while it was all happening. Would would we have like noticed her being like any kind of weird? No, she would have just appeared to be leaning against the wall. Oh, okay. I was listening, guys. Plus, I'm yelling at like Sistella and Carrie. It just I feel like everyone with the attention would be there. She's just standing still. Okay, all right, just making sure that it wasn't just like an awkward silence during this whole like. <laughs> it's thing. like on a play where someone's having mon monologue. We're all just standing <laughs> yeah, yeah. there, like, well, all right. I'm just gonna wait for that situation to end. Continue now. I'm fine. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I'm talking to your so Courage the Cowardly Dog character. So Carrie, what what do you propose we do? How how would we even fix your problem? Do I look like I'm an expert or expert in these things? Yes. Again, this is obviously I mean, let's be real. What do you think could be causing this? Do you think this is a man-made thing that is controlling people's minds? She looks to uh, Sistella and she gives her a look like, what the hell is he talking about? Look, we... Not everyone here, rather, not everyone outside of Seidel even knows that the type of stuff that you do, she points up and down at you, Rufus, are even possible. Hmm. Now let me say, if I were to take an educated guess, there is some type of Mm, how would I explain it to someone that doesn't know even what it is? There is some type of otherworldly force going on here, and I'm not sure why you think a couple of mercenaries with swords and sticks can fix that. Is it just desperation, or you think we can actually do it? I mean, look around. We're we're all pretty desperate here. And by uh, all, she she points at Roto, Sistella, and Carrie. Roto has been silent this entire time, but that is not uncharacteristic of him. I look over to Sistella and I go, "Actually, wait a minute. The way you said that, have you have you seen magic before? Other than me, obviously. You're the <laughs> only one we've seen do magic." <laughs> You're not the first mercenaries that I've hired to make this run. Was that a yes? She nods. And yet your mother doesn't know about